Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where I'll be showing you what goes into making the Iron Harvest fan film cinematic. The last update has been a while, but that doesn't mean that nothing has been done. In fact, we have a lot to show you and I think it is starting to look really promising. Also in the meanwhile, I have uploaded a couple short Iron Harvest videos that people seem to have really enjoyed. Especially the Orkonig Artillery Orchestra, which is now actually one of the most popular videos on this channel. This will be the last month that Stroka Hoff is officially on the project as his internship is ending. He has done an amazing job and there are many things that he has done way better than I would have done myself. And his eye for detail when designing and texturing the Frankian mech has been astonishing and you can really tell how much enthusiasm he has put into that model. He is still working on the environment of the forest which is looking really really good and I don't have much experience doing environment myself and I've got to say what he made is looking really good. Also he just finished up his final model for the French infantry. Over this project we have repeatedly asked you guys what you think in the community post and try to incorporate the feedback that we've received as best as we could. Anyway overall I've been really lucky to have Strokov on the team and I can definitely say c'est très bien. I've also added many more details to the German infantry model and I'm really proud of the visual level of quality that we have reached so far. I figured out a simple method in Unreal Engine to give characters all kinds of variations, so not every soldier is going to be a one-on-one -on -one copy. Some will be carrying the Guerrier 98 while others are carrying the MP18s and then some will have grenades on them or even a bayonet etc. And hopefully this will really help with some of the realism of the cinematic. And there is a really big update, because I have spent a small fortune on a motion cap suit from Rococo. This suit is kinda cool, because it doesn't require any camera setups. Instead the suit works with some kind of magnetic system and sensors are connected via Wi-Fi, so it is also completely wireless. This means you can technically record wherever you want, so you do not need a big dedicated recording studio. So this suit perfectly fits our needs, and that is hopefully what is going to make it worth the investment. I was actually in contact with the creator of Death of Hope who already has the same suit and he said it worked really well and that convinced me to finally buy the suit. Unfortunately it does not arrive until somewhere in October I believe so we'll have to see how big of a role it is going to play in this film. Originally I planned the production to be around six months in total but I'm starting to think it's going to take longer than that so perhaps the motion capture shoot can help speed things up when it does finally arrive. But yeah, purchases like these are only possible because of the amazing people that have supported my projects over the many many months. As of late I've started sharing monthly SCL file releases, so if you are a tier 2 supporter or above you can download these models for your 3D printer. On the screen you can see all the names of the amazing supporters on Patreon. We also have a Discord server that you can join and patrons get access to an exclusive channel. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and we will see you on the next one.